Hey there. Um, so as requested, I'm going to do a video on how to um, set up and get uh, Minecraft Shaders mod running on the new um, Apple Silicon Max, the Apple M1 chip. Um, so if you're already familiar with how to install um, Shaders mod on uh, Macintosh, feel free to skip this. You don't need to watch this. The steps are really similar. The only difference will be what type of um, sh shaders you can use. Um, so, all right, the all the links will be in the description, and I do apologize in advance. English is not my mother tongue, so I might have uh, an accent. I probably do already. Anyways, um, let me know in the comments if uh, something is unclear. So the first step here will obviously be uh, to install Minecraft. If you already did this, uh, feel free to skip the first step. So um, let's get this downloaded here and let's open our downloads folder. So uh, installing Minecraft should be as easy as um, installing anything. If it's the first time that you're trying to install a, an x86 app, um, you're going to have a prompt window that a pop up window that is asking you if you want to install Rosetta 2 and you'll have to click yes on that. So let's just drag and drop Minecraft in the applications folder here. Um, right, next we can close everything here. We can eject Minecraft. So that's done. Now we do want to launch Minecraft at least once because um, we did just, you know, drag and drop the, the launcher, but the game is still not downloaded and properly installed. Um, so the first time you're gonna launch the, uh, the game, it's gonna ask you this, just click open. And here it is, updating Minecraft. It's not necessarily updating, it's just actually downloading what's required. <laughs> Perfect. Shouldn't be too long. All right. Um, I think uh, soon enough, I don't know when exactly. Um, I think it's sometime later this in December. Um, uh, you will need a Microsoft account to log in in Minecraft. Uh, for now, I'll just ignore that and I'll log in into my regular account. Perfect. Now um, let's launch Minecraft for a first time here. I'm just gonna dismiss this. All right, there you go. So as you can see here, now it's properly downloading, downloading and installing the game. Um, so this is the latest release. Uh, by the time you watch this video, there might be other releases.
All right, so seems like it's launching now. Perfect, so now that Minecraft is finally um, has finally launched, the game is probably installed, and we can just close this now. All right, let's go back to Safari, and we're done with the first link. Now, the next thing we need to do is to install, uh, download and install Java, which is um, what is needed to install mods. So again, if you're familiar with that, feel free to skip. So uh, neither Java nor Minecraft are yet optimized for the Apple Silicon Max now uh, yet, um, but Microsoft is. Just double click on that um, and open. Uh, but Microsoft is working closely uh, with Oracle to port a, uh, a, a Java to um, to run natively on the new Apple Silicon. Uh, Max. So this is pretty sick, especially that it's Microsoft doing the work, uh, helping out here. Um, I'll definitely uh, keep you guys updated on that. Um, for now, there's already a uh, development kit, Java development kit um, for um, the Apple Silicon, but there's no uh, runtime uh, environment. So unfortunately, Minecraft cannot run with it yet. Um, so let's close this, close this now. Java is properly installed. We can eject this here. I like to have my desktop clean. Of course, you don't have to eject this uh, the uh, the disks here all the time, um, but I kind of like to do so. Now we're done with Java. Um, next, we want to head over to Optifine.net, and over here, this is actually what's gonna this is the mod itself. So let's click download here, which is for the latest version of Minecraft. Unfortunately, um, there's a ton of ads on, on this website, on this page. Um, so as you can probably see, it downloaded um, something called install.dmg. Um, just put that into the trash. Uh, you really don't need this. Um, and let's, let's click uh, skip and let's hit download here and voila we should have up to fine you know that it's a good file if it ends with a dot jar if it's a dot jar extension um, and now we can close this we don't need it anymore so the next step will be to just well install I'll just open the download folder here um yep install the mod here double click on that open if it doesn't let you open um if it doesn't let you run the uh, uh, optifine here what you can do is right click on it hit open and then it's going to ask you if you probably if you really want to open an app from an untrusted source or something like that um don't don't worry, it's virus free. Um, we all know the developer behind the Optifine, so it's it's it should be fine. And now let's click install. There you go, as simple as that. And we now have um, the shaders mod installed. Now we can launch Minecraft. Actually, first let's uh, download the shaders itself. So let's scroll down here. So uh, the only one that I know is working well so far is um, the Sildur's Enhanced Default uh, Shaders. I did not try so many, but I know that none of them here are working. And I did not try, um, I actually did not try any other uh, shaders than those here. So let's download this one because I know that this one is working. And again, feel free to install and download and try your own shaders at this point. 
Let's hit skip. And again, I think it downloaded something. Just put that in the trash. Perfect. Um, and finally, let's click on download. Did it work? Oh, there it is. Perfect. So I forgot to mention something here. Um, if you are so so by default Safari kind of uh, unzip files when it downloads a zip file. So if it does so, the thing is that you want to keep the file uh, zipped. So you will need to go in um, uh, Safari preferences and uncheck open save files after downloading. Um, so that way, uh, as the moment you download a zip file, it stays as a zip file. So here it is. This is our um, shaders shader, and we're completely done with uh, internet now. <laughs> Safari. Let's yeah no. Let's close everything here. All right. Let's open Minecraft and make sure that here you select. Uh, now the Optifine version, which is um, uh, Minecraft loaded with uh, the shaders mod. And it's going to tell you that it's mod modded. Don't worry. Perfect. Now um, we have to go into options. Oh, I'm having this issue again. Don't mind me. Um, if you're having uh, an issue, if you have to double click on everything to get by, uh, you probably need to deactivate this here. For some reason, um, the tap to click function on Mac OS kind of interferes with Minecraft. And for some reason, Minecraft needs you to double click on everything uh, in, in the game. So I'm going to disable it for now. Um, now let's go into options, video settings, and shaders. Um, as you can see, none, there's no shaders installed. We can simply open the shaders folder, drag and drop um, the soldiers enhanced default shaders. Yep, let's move that over here. Close this, and here it is. Now just click on it in Minecraft. It, you should have this window. I'm gonna put this full screen now. And uh, here it is. Now everything is set. Let's go back and try. Um, okay. Cheers. Testing. Perfect. Excellent. So I always noticed that the first few seconds um, that you are in Minecraft, um, it's going to lag. You will have maybe uh, about 10 uh, frames per second. Um, but after a while, it should uh, definitely be um, stable. And as you can see, uh, here is uh, Minecraft with uh, shaders installed. And this is um, the Apple Silicon Mac. I can show you here. Boom, here, Apple M1. Um, precisely, this is uh, the MacBook Pro uh, 16 gigabyte and uh, RAM uh, with one terabyte of storage version. Um, but yeah, anything with uh, the Apple M1, uh, the MacBook Pro or the uh, MacBook Air or the um, Mac Mini uh, should have a very similar performance when it comes to Minecraft. Um, so yeah, there it is, guys. Uh, if I can show you a little bit further here, what I like to do, so first of all, I'll show you how many frames per seconds I have here. Show FPS. I believe I'm on VSync. Let's put that on unlimited. So this is a 1080p uh, uh, screen. I'm currently on an external monitor, um, but I am recording my screen uh, 
uh, with an app. So it's definitely taking a hit here um, of about 10 FPS. But still, look at that. Look at that. It's I'm still hitting about um, almost 90 FPS. And um, true, this is just an island. <laughs> There's not much here to to be impressed uh, with. But uh, yeah, you can see the, the water reflects everything and you can see that there's uh, wind in the leaves and uh, the grass. I also like to, um, okay, first of all, let's change that here. I'm on a 27 inches monitor, so I like to have things a little bit smaller. And um, yeah, so once in your, once you're in the shader options, I like to put uh, here got rays on um, colors, color boost, cross process, and as you can see, this will uh, for some reason um, Minecraft doesn't really have uh, vibrant colors. It's kind of all grayish, um, so I like to turn on this option because uh, the colors are just way better this way. Um, I'm having a much uh, better time playing Minecraft. So there it is guys, I hope that um, you enjoyed. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, hit me up, comment below. And uh, yep, if you liked the video, I don't consider myself a video guy, this is really just to show you that it works. And um, some people requested that I uh, do a video, but um, definitely let me know if it works for you. I could maybe do some more if you like my stuff and see you soon. Au revoir.